So how many times have you been in the field and your signals just don't match? You got a zero to 135 ohm and you need to convert it to a four to 20 or a four to 20 to 135 ohm. Hey, this is the easy way to do that. So in this video, we're gonna show you exactly how to do it with a cool product from a company called ACI. This is Eric Stromquist with Stromquist Company, stromquist.com and controltrends.com, your source for HVAC control news you can use. So you're gonna learn a very simple solution here. So with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Matt Bucall from ACI. Hello, my name is Matt Buchholz, Technical Support Manager here at ACI. Today, I'd like to address common questions that our tech support team receives on how to convert zero to 135 ohm signals. The most common question we receive is how to convert a 0 to 135 ohm signal into a 4 to 20 milliamp signal. These are typically used in retrofit applications where you have a 0 to 135 ohm controller and you're replacing a motor, valve, or actuator. The 0 to 135 ohm remote bulb temperature controllers are used for ducts, tanks, boilers, pipes, and other heat exchangers. ACI offers a plug-and-play interface board for this exact application. The Analog Rescaling Module, ARM, can be factory calibrated for a 0 to 135 ohm input and a 4 to 20 milliamp output. In fact, the output can be calibrated to whatever required voltage or current you require. To order, use part C slash ARM in 0 to 135 ohm, out 4 to 20 milliamp. A customer can field calibrate the ARM, but ACI recommends ordering from the factory. This speeds up installation because the device is plug and play. In this demonstration, I will show the functionality of the product. I'll start at 0 ohms and make my way up to 135 ohms. You can see that the input and output track linear to each other. Another common question we receive is how to convert a 4 to 20 milliamp signal into a 0 to 135 ohm signal. This would be the opposite of our first example. Another product in our interface lineup is the DRN 3.1 or DRN 4. The DRN series accepts analog, pulse, or floating point input signals and converts them into a proportional resistive output. It directly replaces a variable resistance controller and simulates the action of a slide wire or rotary potentiometer. The DRN 3.1 must be ordered with a resistance network. The resistance network would be ordered to match a required resistance output. The most common is a 0 to 135 ohm, but other common values are 0 to 270 ohms, 0 to 1000 ohms, and 0 to 10,000 ohms. In this demonstration, I will show the functionality of the DRN 3.1. I'll start at 4 milliamps and make my way up to 20 milliamps. You can see that the input and output track linear to each other. The DRN 4 is supplied in an enclosure that can be directly mounted to a half inch knockout on the Modutrol motor actuator. Color-coded wire leads with spade connectors are provided for electrical connections. The DRN4 is only offered in the 0 to 135 ohm output. The products and applications we discussed today are great solutions when dealing with 0 to 135 ohm signals. Thank you for watching the video. Feel free to contact us with questions on these or any other ACI products by calling 888 967-5224 or click the chat button at the bottom of any page on our website, workaci.com. When using our chat feature, you'll be connected to a live technical support engineer ready to answer any questions you may have right on the spot.
Offering a great selection of interface devices is just another way ACI is engineering a better sensor solution. Well, there you go. If you enjoyed that, be sure to check ACI out. That's aci-work.com. Visit stromquest.com if you want to buy one of these or visit your local distributor. And be sure to check us out on controltrends.com. And we'll catch you on the flip side.